So we are going to draw the slope fields of uh, this given differential equation by using MATLAB. So the way we will draw the slope field is this. First note that uh, the slope at any given point or at any point on the solution curve is uh, negative x over y or this is the slope of the tangent uh, <coughs> the tangent line. So you may take uh, one m as the components of the uh, of a vector along the tangent line and if we did this say we can change it to a unit vector let me take a vector sign here okay so you may take it as a unit vector by just uh, taking one divided by the length of the vector which you know will be a square root of 1 plus m square and uh, then that's the first component and the second component is going to be 1 over square root of 1 plus m square. So what we will do in MATLAB is that use the quiver function as uh, we are going to see. So we'll go ahead and draw a coordinate grid and then have MATLAB plot the slope field for us. So let's go to MATLAB now. So here is a command prompt in MATLAB. So the first thing that we shall do is this, that uh, we shall create uh, create grid points to plot the, uh, <clears throat> plot the vectors for the slope field. So in this case, let's go from negative five to five and here we are not really worrying about uh, zero. One moment, we have to first say what that what we are taking the mesh grid off. So we'll say that the, our coordinates are x and y. Okay, and then we have because so let's just keep it from negative five to five. You can change it when necessary. So here we go and remember this that the slope for our uh, for our differential equation was negative x divided by y now here to keep the operation element wise what you have to do is put a period sign in front of this division okay so there we are now to keep things simple what we will do is that we will define our l to be the square root of, okay, the L is the length of the vector, so a square root of uh, 1 plus a square of the second component, and again we'll put a period sign to keep the squares component wise or element wise, all right, and now we will use quiver in the following manner that we are going to plot it in our xy plane and by uv it means that who the you know who the components are so we're just going to type them up directly you could define u and v separately but here we are just going to write it directly that our u is uh, 1 divided by l and be careful for the period okay and then the second component is m divided by l so once you do that, hopefully the plot will come up for you. And uh, yes, here it is. All right. And later on, I mean, you will just a moment. I mean, you'll see yourself how to, you know, how to do this. You could take, you could have taken smaller increments and should have gotten. So whatever is necessary, you will just go according to that. Sorry, I'm making it in such a hurry. Okay. So let me know if you have questions. All right, thanks.